My parents went here and met here, and they graduated in 1990, so East Bay's been in our family for quite a while. Um, then I came here, I started in 2011, my younger sister came here, and my younger sister is going to be a freshman next year. So it's really, it's very exciting to have the whole family be going to the same school. So I'm the oldest of five siblings, and I'm the only one that wasn't born in the United States. So I'm the only undocumented person in my family. And so being a dreamer has been a very unique experience in my household because my siblings don't share my, my experience, my upbringing. If your undocumented sister can graduate and go to grad school, then you have to. I mean, you have to. And, and that's kind of like my legacy that I'm leaving behind. I went from um, doing so poorly in school to just not showing up to class. I was one of those students who could get a good grade, but I just wouldn't even turn anything in, whether it was the simplest assignment. I just didn't have the passion. And Cal State East Bay gave me that awakening. Every African child's dream is to come to the U.S. to go to school. I chose the U.S. because it's better education and it's faster education. I chose Cal State East Bay because it's the most diverse school all of your professors know your name. Um, whether we realize it or we don't, that's one of the biggest qualities or one of the biggest gifts Cal State East Bay gives to a student. And it's with the support of the faculty, those small conversations like, hey, Kiret, you know, you should be at the top of my class. You're just barely getting by, like, why? Those things made a difference. This place has pushed me, but in the best way possible. Like, I know, I thought I could handle, like, this much, but I can this much and it's great how be able to have like just delve into all these different outlets and work so hard in all these different things and just be able to succeed in all of them. So I've had challenges with wanting to get work done, wanting to actually show up, wanting to actually participate, wanting to actually work towards something. In the last two and a half years graduation is definitely the biggest accomplishment. It means you've got a lot ahead of you but you've already accomplished a lot and the best is still to come. Knowing the fact that I earned what I have. I earned what I'm about to receive, which is my degree. Being a pioneer is having an idea, a dream, an ambition, and going for it, even if you're the first. What I found at Cal State East Bay was not just, you know, a school, but a community. And I just want to thank them because here I was a part of something greater, but at the same time I was given that hey, you're an individual, go fulfill your full potential. And I cannot be more thankful to any other institution. I'm so glad that I came here. I just wanna say thank you to my family because my family has pushed me so far. Uh, my parents both believe in me a lot. Our relationship has just blossomed. It is so nice to have my parents by my side. Mom, Dad, I wanna say thank you for everything you've done for always being there for me. Um, my parents, my family, but they have been the greatest gift and they have, they've pushed me too, but they've pushed me to um, just be the best person that I could be and be the best student I could be. I'm gonna be the fulfillment of all of their sacrifices and all of their uh, discipline and, and their hard rules and, um, and just their dreams too because neither one of them went to college. And so I will be kind of living their dream out for them and myself. Mom, thank you for um, being there for me um, through all my ups and downs and for pushing me to go back to school even when I didn't want to because I was so heartbroken. But um, you sat with me, just sat there with me. and. Um, you just sitting next to me definitely um, helped me come back and finish what I started. I am a pioneer. I am a pioneer. I am a pioneer. Mom and Dad, I am a pioneer. Forever Pioneer. <laughs>